learning how to drive and getting access to a license is critical to refugee women reaching that level of self-reliance. But it is also such an emotional boost. It is such a psychological boost to say, I accomplished something. I did this and I'm now able to help my family. The reason we founded it was because we saw the need in the community to have some supplemental source for refugees that are being resettled in Georgia. We named it Women Behind the Wheel for a reason. We really wanted to empower our female clients. I was really shocked to learn that a lot of these women were struggling because they were fully dependent on their spouses. So to go grocery shopping, to take their kids to the doctor's office, and that was adding a lot of stress to these women. And they said, if only we could drive. Some of them came with the stigma of, you know, my wife shouldn't drive, my wife shouldn't work, I should be the one providing. But we quickly explained, well, you can't really provide if you're making minimum wage and you have six mouths to feed in addition to helping with your wife. So she also needs to kind of learn how to drive and find a job and get out there. Um, and once they came to that realization, they were incredibly thrilled with this initiative. We have a wait list for three to four months. Yeah. And again, it's all based on funding. From the time we started in 2018, 2019 to now, there have been 230 graduates of this program. The beginning, it's kind of awkward for some people for first time being behind the wheels, but but the end of the program, they gained the benefit that they've been looking for. Uh, it starts with the very little thing as a driving to build future uh, and build healthy family.